day good day everybody and welcome back to the channel so this reading is for libra if you're new to this channel welcome if you like to comment on this page go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap the notification bell so you can receive all of the uploads to this channel also if you're interested in custom costume jewelry follow ebony and green the link is in the description below and you can receive 15 percent off with my promo code and if you are interested in fashion, shop Divine Couture for the latest and greatest. Okay, so Spirit, what do we have for Libra? Mm. So surround yourself with protective energy, okay? Surround yourself with energy that is, you know, for your greatest good, that is meant to protect you. Because anytime you see the arrow card, you don't want to be surrounded with things that's draining of your energy. You don't want to be surrounded by things that are negative for your space. So you need to surround yourself around protective and positive energy, especially during the retrograde. Because when usually when retrograde comes, it's like, you know, differences in communication, you know, lacks of communication. You might say things that you don't mean. People might say things to you that you don't, they don't mean. So you just really want to surround yourself with protective energy here. All right. Yes. And so transform and unveil your gifts. So they're just saying that they need you to become the shapeshifter. Like it's time for you to change your way of thinking. It's time for you to change, you know, change your form. All right, change it from the old, usual, safe way of doing things. All right, Spirit is like, you need to unveil your gifts and you need to unveil them now because this is how you're going to create the life that you want. So become the shape shifter, find the shape that you want to shift into and move inward in that energy. Harness that energy because that is where your true power is, okay? Mm -hmm. Follow the voices of your soul, all right? Follow the voices of your soul. Star ancestors is like trust your intuition. They're saying like we are talking to you and you are like steadily ignoring us. And this is not your game, Libra. This is their game. All right. So you need to, you know, pay attention to the divine messages that you're receiving and act on these divine messages. All right. Act on these divine messages. Listen to your intuition. Trust yourself. Okay. Ooh, be fearless and stand your ground so you are warriors so there's some decisions that had to be made or will need to be made and what spirit is saying is like you need to stand your ground because part of your problem is you don't stand your ground you know you stand your ground when when you want to stand your ground but when it's time for you to stand your ground you don't stand your ground and spirit said that when you make these decisions you need to make it solid and stick to it because these whatever it is that you're that you're letting up on that is what's causing you the most friction all right whether it's you know giving too much of your energy to people you know giving too much of your you know your your time to people giving too much of your wealth to people you got to stand your ground spirit like enough is enough all right and they want you to be a warrior in that track down your fears and your desires and so it's good for you to track down your fears and your desires because spirit wants you to understand the things that you're afraid of, but they also want you to understand the things that you want out of life. All right. And you have to understand the things that you are afraid of and understand the things that you want in order for you to embark upon them. All right. So knowing what you want and then you can live out your true heart's desire, but also knowing the things that you are afraid of, you know, so that when you see it, it doesn't shock you as it doesn't knock you off balance all right so you got to be the hunter in this situation and then you're going to feel all this love and comfort like here's mother earth and mother earth is going to allow you to birth something new all right so this is a very fertile time for you libra this is a very fertile time which is why spirit is like i need you to shape shift all right they really need you to shape shift they want you to shape shift and they want you to pick the path that you're going to go on because they like this is the time for you to birth this idea as soon as this retrograde is up you need to be hitting the ground running okay but you can begin developing this plan now the problem is you need to after you develop the plan you need to stick with it 
all right no prolonged thoughts all right because you know it's taking it, it's taking entirely too long spirit like now nah. you about to birth something and then once you birth it you're gonna watch you know all of the things that you birth plant and give beautiful life and it's going to provide you with love and comfort that love and comfort that you always wanted that sense of purpose that you always desire you're going to feel it all right all right spirit what else mm. so the mother of perception all right so perception is what you make it all right perception is what you're making and and, 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 and perception is you know your own personal opinions about things and so this one came upside down so it's like you know the, your perception um, your perception is a bit off here and so we got to kind of turn these things around alright so you have to you know kind of change the way that you're looking at things Okay, change the way that you're looking at things. Change the way that you are viewing things. See things differently. All right. And once you begin to see things differently, you'll you'll understand like, okay, this is my role. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, versus seeing it the other way and being resistant of, you know, things that could possibly create, you know, create more for you in the future. All right. So a lot of times we're resistant towards things that we don't understand. So spirit is wanting you to really like sit down and try to understand this thing that's causing so much confusion or so much conflict. All right. Mm. Yep. An illusion. So Libra, you're actually in a good position here. You're actually in a really good position and and your storm is like an illusion you see how he's out here and like it's it's like all sunny outside but but this little thing on this car has like an umbrella and rain gear you prepare for a storm that has not happened and will not happen so you will prepare for a storm that is not real so spirit saying it's all an illusion. You're you're making it up. All right. You you're in a storm by yourself. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta work. You gotta. That's why you gotta change your perception because you see it as a storm, and spirit like it ain't even a storm at all. You just got on all this stuff for no reason, and you're out here looking crazy. The sun is out. You got that little bitty cloud chances of rain three percent chance of rain and you got on uh, all of that protective equipment <laughs> all right so delight all right delight being focused on the light here transformational energy here okay being focused on spirit here all right, so that's what spirit wanting you to do. They want you to they want you to focus on them it's a lot of transformational energy coming about for you Okay, and it came up right, so it's facts. All right, so this fire, this fire is gonna ignite. Listen, you take you you track down your fears and your desires, and you begin to understand all this stuff. It's gonna be some things changing for you, and you gonna be like, wow, I can't even believe this. Yep, see, look, the wild card, child consciousness. Let your inner child and your creativeness be free, yo. Just let it be free. Just tackle everything in newness. Just tackle everything. I'm not saying be naive, but I'm saying tackle it like a child would tackle it. Embrace everything about it. You know, just explore it. Just have that have that childlike curiosity. Okay? So this is a good thing. You're soaring here. You're playful. You're soaring. This is a great thing. All right? Spirit, what else? Let's see what else we got for the Libra. Overall, good reading. You're just really tracking down your fears. You're shape shifting. Changing your perception about this stuff. This storm that you're going through is like, it's it's not real. You, you're just experiencing it. Maybe, you know, you do your natal chart reading. You know, looking at where is your, uh, where, where is your emotions placed during this retrograde, you know? 
because it's just an illusion for you, okay? Mm-hmm. You're protected. You are completely protected. You may be feeling like you're not, but you're completely protected. And um, your guides are there protecting you. All right? They're protecting your loved ones. So you are completely protected here. So you may be feeling a little unprotected, but you are protected. You got to establish some boundaries here. You got to learn when to say no, Libra. Learn when to say no. Just because, just because the people want you to say yes doesn't mean that you have to say yes. Learn when to say no. Establish some boundaries. There are too many, um, there are too too many people absorbing your energy, so you have to say no, even when you can help. Say no anyway. Boundaries. Mm, transformation. Yes, and transformation is hurt. By the way. When you're ascending and you're going through transformation, it's painful. All right, it it's not an easy feeling. That's why they're saying that your your illusion of a storm is false because there's those are just growing pains that you're experiencing. You are you know you you stepped into it. You're going through a change right now. All right, but guess what? After the transformation, after the change comes the blessing. After the change comes the reward. And so you are seriously about to receive this reward. And you don't even know it. But it's coming. It's coming, Libra. Let's see. And for those of you cross-watching or those of you um, dealing with a Libra. It's change. It's all change. All right. What else? Mm, restore and replenish. Thirty-eight. So you just need to you just need to rest. You just need to rest. Replenish yourself. All right. Look, it's it's a a new birth of you. Like you 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 are. You have been like born again, so to speak. Right. That's what's going on. Like got this huge transformation so you need to restore your energy replenish replenish your nutrients replenish your energy all right so that's what's expected because you're exhausted you're burnt out you're completely burnt out here you gotta have faith in the process 32 you have to have faith in the process Again, that illusion of a storm is, is not there. Have faith. All right? Don't lose sight of hope. Okay? Visions of life beyond death. 44. This vision of life beyond death, this could be for... You know, um, people that are dealing with the dead. This could be with people that are dealing with, you know, astral traveling, traveling to other dimensions. And it's also could be life after the old you dies out. Because that's, cause that's really what's going on. The old you is dying out. And the new you is like coming full circle. Okay. And because the old you is dying out and the new you is coming full circle... The old you were like trying to find a way to stick around. And the new you is like, nah, we cool on that. We don't need you here. And once, that's why once you come on the other side of this, you're going to be so abundant and so prosperous. That's why. Alright? Because your old way of thinking and all that stuff is going to be gone. Mother of perception, you changing that. Spirit wants you to do it, and some of y'all gonna do it. And once you do it, you're gonna see the transformation that's gonna occur. Spirit, what else? What else? What else you want to leave it or not? Do what your heart desires. What does your heart want as far as your career goes? What do you want to do? That's a serious question, Libra. What do you want to do? What does your heart want when it comes to your career? What are your heart's desires? What are you good at? 
This is the pivotal point of your life. This is the turning point of your life. So although you may seem, you may believe that it's not an important question, spirit is like, you need to know what you want. And once you figure that out, you're going to create the life that you desire. But you just got to figure it out first. Some of y'all are writers. What are you writing? What are you writing, Libra? All right. There's something inside of you that needs to be expressed. Why haven't you done it? What's keeping you from it? Hmm? There's something inside of you, Libra, that needs to be expressed to the world so that you can assist in changing the world. I know you want to be in the background, but you can still be in the background and get your story out. Everybody don't have to know who you are. They just need to know where you came from and how did you get here. It's definitely about to be a career change. Spirit did all of this just so you can decide and many others like you can decide what it is that you want to really do. But there's definitely about to be a career change. There's about to be a shift. And once this change happens, once you change your career, once you figure out your heart's desires, you're going to create the joy and the abundance that you deserve because that's what's going to happen. There are no F, M, and buts about it. Or is it called F, N, or buts about it? I don't know. I heard somebody say that I thought it was cool, so I thought I'd try it. Sorry, sorry, Libra. Spirit, what does Libra need to hear? Yes, Libra. 32. 32 again. You're not allowing your true potential to surface. You're not allowing your true potential to surface. That needs to be healed. You're second guessing yourself. And you don't need to. You're in a place to create magic. So you don't need to second guess who you are. Mm, 25. Taking back control of your life. Understanding alchemy. Okay, write this down. You're suppressing your phoenix. You need to heal your understanding of alchemy. Understanding the science of things. Taking back control of your life. Coming into your newness. It's, it's all there. What's preventing you from doing that? What's the resistance surrounding this? Okay. Ooh. 13. Rejection. Why do you fear being rejected here? Where's this fear of rejection coming from? Libra, you are, look at this. You are phenomenal, inside and out. <laughs> well put together. Got all your ducks in a row. So, where's this fear of rejection coming from? Where is it coming from? Okay. You got to understand the why in order to heal. Spirit, what else? Ooh. What else do we have? So, something or someone of your past life um, is sending you positive energy and you're still disappointed, you're still holding on to that, got to clear that up, okay? You shouldn't be holding on to no disappointment of your past, no. Some of y'all about to receive a new soulmate. So if that's what you're concerned about. If you if you haven't, um, you know, 
if you've been wondering about love you you may be receiving a new soulmate here soon okay and guess what your abundance awaits you and this is a mass this is for the masses the mass collective of libra your abundance awaits you but you know what it is that you have to do in order to receive that abundance look at your transformation as something good rather than painful look at the experiences associated with the transformations right okay that way you can make sense of all of this but understand you are going to have to trust your intuition. You are going to have to stand your grounds on a lot of decisions. And so I'm feeling that standing your ground on these decisions and these leeches or allegiances or whatever, you're going to have to establish these boundaries. Okay? These boundaries need to be established. Because the boundaries not being established is the only thing that's causing your disruption here. You're protected though. Completely and utterly protected by your gods. You just got to figure out what your heart's desires are. So you got to write. And others of you is about to have career change. But you ain't going to have the career change until you do. Just you figure out what your heart's desires are. Phoenix need to rise. Understanding the alchemy. And ridding yourself of that feeling of rejection. Alright. Surround yourself with people that love you. That care about you. But understand this, for all of y'all, your abundance awaits you. It solely depends on you. If you like the content, hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you want the extended version of this reading, go ahead and follow us on Patreon and I'll holla at you. All right, Libra, let's go ahead. Yes, Libra. Really solid reading, though, Libra. I know you're like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Yep. It's not bad. You just feel like you're going through something, but you're not. It's like if you took the thought of whatever it was that you were going through out of your head, which I know is easier said than done, then you won't be going through anything. You'll be in a great position. Some of you in a great position financially. Some of you in a great position relationship-wise. Some of you in a great position career-wise, you know. But you just got to take it out of your head. Spirit, let's look at Libra's love. Okay, so Spirit telling y'all to flirt. Some of y'all need to flirt. All right, all you got to do is flirt a little bit and they'll come on right on in. All right, so extend your little lighthearted nature, your little lighthearted energy, because y'all know y'all charming. So go on, flirt a little bit. 